Good evening and welcome once again to Metro Pro Wrestling here on Metro Sports. I'm Dave Borchard alongside Chris Goff here at Turner Rec Center in KCK. And Chris, a huge night of action in the main event. Pete Madden will be in a hardcore match as he continues his retirement tour. But what a way to start off the show here. Tyler Cook against Showtime Bradley Charles. This rivalry comes to a head. The Kansas title is on the line. And thank goodness the title's on the line because this title is only on the line because Jeremy Wyatt defeated one-on-one -on -one Tyler Cook. Now the title wasn't on the line then, but as you recall, Dave, Bradley Charles turned his back on Tyler Cook finally after Tyler had kicked him in the face, what, 10, 20 times? I think stabbed him in the back is probably more no, accurate no, no, no. He decided to make a career advancement and join the Gurthy Management Group. So because of that, Wyatt defeats Cook, and now Cook has to put his coveted NWA Kansas title on the line against Showtime Bradley Charles. However you want to look at it, Chris, this is the debut match of Showtime Bradley Charles ever since he stabbed his former best friend Tyler Cook in the back. And I don't think the fans here at Turner Rec Center are going to give him a very warm reception here tonight. Tyler Cook's going to talk about, like, what's he going to say? Most of you probably saw it live, but if you haven't, you probably caught the footage by now. Yeah, we saw it. The news the sketchy Metro Pro by Storm is that the wrestler formerly known as Sir Bradley Charles, my one-time ally, is now my bitter enemy. They saw him stab you in the back. It's yeah. true. Yeah. I guess it's true. The gold really is the world's most precious element. And I guess to Bradley, the NWA Kansas Heavyweight title is more precious than our friendship. Of course it is. So I don't see much point in talking about it much longer. I think we should do this right here and right now. I'm Tyler Cooper. What's that shirt about, Chris? I don't know, some university. But you know what, Dave? It doesn't really matter what Tyler has to say. Look, he's acting like he's throwing out the gauntlet. We all know he owes SBC this match because he lost to Cook. He does owe him the match, you're right. And he was trying to be a good friend and get him out of the Gurkey management group. Look at the spoon uh, rain down I here at Turner Rec Center. He told me, SBC that is, that he has gained at least three to four inches in his biceps since joining the Gurkey management group. They have such a fitness center over there, it's amazing. Oh yeah, Stephen J. Gurkey looks like they have a great fitness program going, doesn't he? We're talking about for the wrestlers, Dave, okay? Gurkey's out there hustling, trying to get up business. He has no time to waste hours in the gym. Nonetheless, Showtime Bradley Charles. Man, listen to this. The former fan favorite, Chris. Everybody hates him. I mean, maybe not as much as they hate Gurthy, as you can see that kid yelling at him there, but everybody hates this guy now. Jealousy, pure jealousy. The guy is now bordering on a multi-millionaire. I mean, he's joined the Gurthy management group. He's getting all these title shots now. You just watch. Showtime Bradley Charles is going to be a champion within the next, I don't know, about 10 minutes? Well, sure. Even if he does win this match, which I'd say is no sure thing by any means, it's not going to be quick. Tyler Cook's had this title forever, Chris, and he's fought everybody. He has had it forever. Frankly, I'm getting bored with it. I'm running for someone new, and Showtime Bradley Charles is about to do that right now. Gurthy coming in. I can't believe Gurthy has just taken on the reins of this man. He has such a growing client base. It's great. I just hope he stays away from the bike. I don't need to hear his loud mouth, Chris. Oh, I do. It's like poetry in motion. I love him. Tyler Cook, you little Richard Simmons wannabe. <laughs> Cut your hair. You know, I'll give you props. You opened my eyes. You showed SBC the light. It's greener on the other side in the girthy management group. God, it's unbelievable hearing him say this. Chris. But you know what? All you people can talk and run your mouths. I don't care. You're all a bunch of idiots. <laughs> jerk. But I tell you what, Tyler Cook, you want to challenge me right now? I'll be happy to take your NWA Kansas title from you. And the only question, the only question that will be left is who's your bratty? <laughs> stupid. I know who his bratty is. Brad, Bradley Charles. That's who his bratty is. Okay, that's a good one. Was he 14? Dave, are you serious? That's a 
freaking teenager joke. Come on, it's so stupid. I'm going to have to go tell him you said that, I, I know, guess. it's okay. You don't have to do that. As you can see here, the NWA Kansas title is on the line, Chris. And like I said, Tyler Cook has had this belt forever, and he's defended it against all comers, but it doesn't get much tougher than this. Look, it's hard to take the jacket off his biceps. That's great. Sir Bradley Charles and Tyler Cook one-on-one -on -one for the NWA Kansas title as Bradley is just letting all the fans take a look at what abs look like. None of them know. Uh, not paying attention, though. It takes a huge knife-edge chop to get things started here. Come on, SBC. Oh, and another. Tyler Cook out for revenge after the betrayal of his former best friend and just a vicious beating he suffered at the hands of Showtime Bradley Charles. You should have seen the Vegas odds on this day, but I mean, by far, everyone thinks Showtime is going to be champ after this match. They have odds for Metro Pro in Vegas? Yes, it's amazing. They have really? odds for everything out there. Wow. Nonetheless, SBC off the ropes and big backdrop crashing down to the mat. Tyler Cook looking pretty good, and Dave, obviously you got to give it to Tyler Cook. He has obviously defended this title for months now, looking great in the process, but I don't know, man. This is personal now with SBC, and I think he's in big time trouble with a couple drop kicks. It's personal there. with Tyler Cook, isn't it? I mean, he's just taking it out on SBC, and really, we've seen some bad beatings over the year plus here at Metro Pro Wrestling, but the beating from the hands of SBC to Tyler Cook, that's the worst I've ever seen him. That was 10 or 15 minutes straight. It was. It was. He maybe went a little excessive on that. Maybe shouldn't have hit him with so many chair shots. But you know what, Dave? I guess you're just throwing out the fact that Tyler Cook kept coming out, losing matches. He's the one that caused SBC to get into the Guthy Manager group against his will at the beginning. He obviously kicked him in the face with the super kick. He did all that. Whether it was a whether it was an accident or not, Dave, you have to say, SBC has a right to be a little mad. Tyler Cook has the right to be a little mad now, and you can tell he's pretty ticked off with the kind of start he got coming out guns a-blazing here out of the gate in this NWA Kansas title match. You would never have seen this from Showtime Bradley Charles before he was with Girthy. What, running and hiding? Yes, I agree. He's no, more taking a, a nice time out, getting his thoughts together, taking the momentum away, getting the psychological advantage over Tyler Cook by walking around the ring there. Tyler now, look, he's getting stiff. He's cold now. He doesn't know what's going on. What? You're just unbelievable sometimes, the stupid words that come out of your mouth. I, I'm sorry. So Bradley just, Charles is being a little scaredy cat here, boy, a chicken, and you're giving him credit for being something he's not. Come Dave, on. Ring Psychology 101. We'll get, I'll take you to class after this match, okay? I just have to, I understand what's going on in the ring, okay? Here we go. We see he was in control for a second, and now he's back in control with that big running shoulder block. Wasting his time here, though. What's he? Shut up, you idiot. He's showing off the fans what they want to see. The sculpted body of Showtime. Look at these hip toss reversals. Wow. And Cook hip tosses SBC out the ring. Straight down onto the hardwood floor here at Turner Rex I think that's what the fans want to see. Listen to him going crazy here. They do love Girthy. He is a great man. That's not what they're cheering for, Chris. They're excited that it's jerk Showtime Bradley Charles. He's got thrown down on the hardwood floor. Girthy doing his job, going to the ref, saying, get back, get Cook back, let my man have some space. That's exactly what he, what's Cook doing? Oh, don't know if it's gonna work, and it doesn't. Cook goes all the way to the outside. Tried for a baseball slide, didn't hit it, but a couple shots in the right hands, and he gets SBC back in the ring. He's gonna let him do whatever he wants? No. Referee's in control this match, Girthy. You need to shut your big yapper. Tyler Cook hitting another knife edge chop. Come on, Chris. Woo! Showtime Bradley Charles has not been in control yet in this match. I'm a little... We had about little, 10 seconds of domination there a few minutes ago. Little surprise, but you know what? It's, it's early. It's early. SBC gets better as the match goes on, Dave. It's a fact. SBC is getting a bit of momentum, but maybe I'm speaking too soon. Tyler Cook able to block those. Attempted hit, ramming of his head into the corner, now gets one of his own. Ramming his head into the corner there, and Cook continuing to battle over his face with his forearm. Here we go. SBC, oh, flapjack. first into the mat. Huge flapjack by Cook on SBC. And SBC holding his abs. He just did a thousand crunches, Dave. Oh, Tyler Cook, though. Right into his throat larynx on the top rope, and a spinning drop kick by SBC. And Cook now. Look at Cook. Shaking that Richard Simmons haircut. Here we go. Lucky out of maybe if Gurthy would have borrowed, you know, 50 or 100 of those 1,000 crunches, you might be looking a little bit better here tonight. He's taking up about two thirds of my monitor. Where did Gurthy come in with that? We were talking about the match. He's walking what? my shot here, I can't even see the match. An unsolicited shot. Here we go. Bradley Charles 
You can tell him I said that. I don't care. Henry on the back of Tyler Cook, and here we go. Snap suplex connects. Wow. I know we don't really agree on how this match may play out, but nonetheless, I think we would be in agreement. This is one of the biggest matchups that the promoters here at Metro Pro could have made. These are two wrestlers at the top of their game, no doubt about it. It has been interesting watching this unfold as SBC and Cook started off in Metro Pro Wrestling as allies, as friends, as tag partners. I mean, they've, they've run the gamut here at Metro Pro Wrestling for the year plus, as you said, Metro Pro Wrestling. I, I don't know. You know, it all started when Tyler Cook ended up making Bradley Charles join the Girthy Management Group by accident, but still it happened. Inadvertently, yes. But he still got thrown into that. Oh. And he's obviously changed his attitude and thinks that Girthy Management can take his career to the next level. And he's obviously getting title shots. Well, thus far, I guess you're right in the short term. He did get a title shot finally, so maybe there are some dividends being paid off joining that moron Stephen J. Girthy. Moron, yeah, it's real, real moronic, Dave. He's got a, a growing client base. You know what that means? More money for everybody, okay? A couple weeks ago on the show, you said you were now officially a broadcaster with yes. the Manager Group. So I don't know if I can really trust his judgment, Chris. The motivational speaking tour that I am on right now is unbelievable for my bank account, but that's beyond the fact, Dave. I heard you were about to jump and start speaking on the SEC tour. Is that accurate? It's possible. It's still, still being worked out. But I follow Mizzou down there. Well, maybe, maybe. We'll see if my, my Missouri Tigers go down there, Dave. Uh, Referee uh, having some words here for Showtime Bradley Charles and Tyler Cook able to recover. Big boot to the face. Oh, but he misses <laughs> on that running clothesline. Yes. And look at that big drop kick by Showtime. Well, you love his new nickname, don't I you, do. Chris? Sir was so dumb. Such a jerk now. Showtime was so much. The mirrored sunglasses, Dave. I mean, those haven't been cool since 1985, but now they're cool. They're cool again now. Oh, okay, whatever. Chris. Everything's cool again. There we go. Big side suplex right on the back neck of Tyler Cook. In a lot of pain here. Here we go. See him reaching for Three that count. Bag. Uh, minus two. Just a one count. Yes, Dave, you can count. Here we go. You can, you can subtract. Good job. Look at this. Loving the head of Tyler Cook now oh. with those forearm shots. The hair sort of deflecting it off Tyler's head. There's so much hair there. Yeah, it's a defensive maneuver. How can you question it earlier? It is a good defensive maneuver to get a haircut every six months. It is. Look at this. Look at this submission maneuver. Sort of a modified camel clutch here. Just wrenching on that bottom back. Oh, that looks, that looks painful, Dave. Look, nowhere near the ropes. How's he going to get out of this? Look at SBC just talking to the crowd. The crowd chanting for Tyler, but I don't think it phases this. Me. Look at that. He's pounding down on the back one more time with Tyler. This cocky attitude the Showtime Bradley Charles. It's so entertaining, isn't it? It's disgusting. No, it's entertaining. So fun. The crowd's not entertained, Chris. It's like you and Gerthy and Jeremy Wire are the only three people entertained by this new attitude that Bradley Charles has adopted. Our bankers are pretty entertained. People that we loan money to are pretty entertained. Shut up, Chris. Nobody cares about your financial situation. Unless you want to give me some money for a gift, then I would exactly, care. Exactly, then you'd care. That's how you're easy to pay off. Anyway, SBC now, huge body slam in the middle of the ring. And Tyler Cook is starting to sense that the NWA Kansas title is slipping out of his hands. How do you know? What are you talking about? Are you a psychologist it's ESP, now? I can just feel it. Showtime Bradley Charles taking a little too much time for my liking here, but still in complete control at the moment. There we go, SBC choking out Tyler on the bottom turnbuckle. Jerk Girthy lingering out at ringside. Don't trust him at all. Come on, Girthy, get involved, please. The referee has his back to him, but a bit too close still, I guess, for him to use his chicanery. It's smart. That's the smarts. Here we go. Look at that. Just landing on his back right there. Here we go. Three. Lynn Tukyal, but like you said, it's getting worse by the moment, it seems, for the NWA Kansas champion, Tyler Cook. Sir Bradley Charles and Tyler Cook already in a pretty good match back and forth there. Uh, Tyler Cook now, oh, look at that, a shot to the head by Tyler as he lays on his back in the middle of the ring. Yeah, the one thing we know about him is he will not quit. He's shown that over the year plus here at Metro Pro. This guy is the heart of a lion, man. He is not a guy that's ever going to tap out, and every time you think he's down, he seems to get back up. You're absolutely right. Tyler Cook, obviously, he's been taken out of his aerial attack as well, which is good by SBC, because Tyler, we've seen the swanton bombs. We've seen plenty of aerial maneuvers from Tyler Cook, so he has yet to bust one of those out. Here we go. Irish whip into a sidewalk slam by Showtime. Here we go. 
Two and a half. Only a two count. Showtime, Bradley Charles in control. Tyler Cook. I love that nickname, Showtime. Here we go. Showtime choking Tyler Cook out. No. Referee saw it. He's got that scissor lock on Tyler Cook. Cook's got it trying to make it to the ropes here, Chris. I know he's taking a lot of damage, but he can roll over to his right. Oh, he can just reach the ropes and he can only move a little more. Make him break the hold here. Dave, unfortunately, the noises you make aren't going to help him get to the ropes anymore, so you can Maybe just stop Maybe a crowd will help urge him to the ropes, all right? There we go, elbows to the side of the head from SBC, and here, here comes Tyler. He is able to break it. Yes, it was all you. Showtime! Bradley Charles now up on his feet first. He quit with this new nickname, it's stupid, Chris. I just like saying it, I can't help it. Showtime! Shut up, Chris. Come on. crazy. Big right hand, and Tyler goes back to all fours. Man, can you imagine Showtime Bradley Charles getting his first NWA title? The first time he gets an opportunity against Tyler Cook? Yeah, I'd like to not imagine that actually, but oh, a huge <laughs> knife edge chop. Nice ground beef for a chest, Tyler. Here we go. Sunset flip, can we, he gets him over. He's got the shoulders pinned too, Chris, but no, only a two count. Gerthy was there. Gerthy was gonna stop him. And, so Bradley Charles misses the drop kick and Cook now going for the big clothesline and he connects. Honestly, don't know if Gurdon would have been quick enough to get into the ring before the count of three, Chris. Come on! Big running clothesline again by Tyler Cook. Somehow he's recaptured some momentum. Uh-oh, Tyler Cook getting his second win now. Thought he was set up for a super kick, uh, instead an inverted atomic drop. Inverted, I hate those. Here we go, another right. Oh, huge knife edge chop and SBC's on his back now. Don't well, usually see a knife edge chop strong enough to send a guy airborne, but that's exactly what happened right there. Tyler Cook looking for payback, but more than that, looking to keep his NWA Kansas title. And look at this Russian leg sweep. You hear Gerthy screaming for SBC. Come on. Here we go. Come on. That was so close. Yeah, very close. No doubt about it. This match has been a roller coaster just back and forth. And right now, Tyler Cook at the has all the momentum at the moment. Sir Bradley Charles. Not, sir. I keep wanting to say, sir, David. Thank Showtime. you. That's a much better. I agree. Bradley Charles. Can I call him sir since I hate it's Showtime? Horrible. Sir is horrible. You know what? Oh, oh come that. on, ref. That <laughs> always works. You can't poke him in the eyes. The referee saw it, and it doesn't matter. Cheap shot. <laughs> Tebow suplex. Oh, he hit it. It's a finishing maneuver most of the time for Tyler. Go for the cup. Come on. He's got the leg hook, Chris. I think this is it. Oh, oh. just a long two count. Oh. Thank goodness. Showtime kicked out. Yeah, great. So happy for him. Sort Girth of fans here. Thought Gerthy was gonna have to help there, but Tyler's back up and you maybe send him up to the real finisher, Chris. Looks like he's ready for a super kick, which is not good for Showtime. If he kick, if he hits this, it's over, and you know it, Chris. It is. Unfortunately, it will be. Gerthy's trying to warn him. Yes. Oh, he misses. Side steps it. Here we go. Long kiss, good night. No, but he misses that. Oh, <laughs> SPC pulled the referee into his path. No, he did. The referee was in the way. I didn't see that. The referee just Are you got, blind? The referee just got a super kick to the face. What do we have here? It's Jeremy Wyatt. Yes. The referee is out. Oh, oh. this is so unfair. No. <laughs> Oh, the referee didn't see any of it. And Jeremy runs out of the building and look at Tyler, he's sitting on his back. This is great. Referee, well, where's the ref? Oh, but I guess this is the- One, two. Oh, he kicked Oh, there's it. no referee in the ring. Here's a new ref, come on, here we go. Only a two count, how'd he kick if out? If he would have been there sooner, he would have been the champion. This is horrible. SBC cannot believe it, but that would have been one of the most unfair title victories ever. <laughs> The His referee's kicked out. Down and Tyler cheated. kicked out the ref. It's Tyler's fault. We have a new referee. What is wrong in your head, man? There's Jeremy a new Wyatt comes down and just KOs the champion, and it you was, think it's okay? The referee wasn't there. Look at him holding his face. Get him. He could have could have counted three for SBC. Here we go, though. No, you know what? We're gonna regroup. Dave Charles back on his feet. Looks like Tyler, it's gonna be over. On. Completely cheated here because SBC. The coward that he has pulled the referee into the path of that super kick. What oh, the? I love the split move, but he missed it. Look at this. This oh. is the Insiguri. Here we go. Look at this suplex. His shoulders are down. Oh, how oh. kick out. Oh, man. Second referee almost counting to three there. Look at Tyler, Dave. He looks like he's just a bag of meat. He's not even moving. SBC 
In complete control at the moment. He's like a snake. There's no bones there. It's just cartilage and skin. Strange analogy, but I guess accurate. It is. It's very accurate. I know SBC in control only because of the interference of Jeremy Wyatt. If this ref would get off his knees and just get up here and do something about this, he should just go over the bell ring and tell him that he, in the ring. he should have said that he won the match. Here. He did not win the match. He could have. He should have just said that he had him down for a three you count. Know what? Tyler Cook would have won the match if SBC didn't pull a referee into the path of the super kick. He wasn't okay. taking a nap over in the floor there, but here we go. SBC the top superplex, maybe? I think this will be it if he can hit it. SBC trying to beat down Cook enough to hit this finishing move. Come on. Here we go. I think Showtime has it locked. This is going to be great, Dave. It's almost over. Oh, he did hit it. Here Tyler we go. Got to be out. He's got it. Shoulders are down. Wait, what? but the two being hooked by Tyler Cook. What? What just happened? Why did the second ref come in? Regardless, Showtime Bradley Charles, the new NWA Kansas champion. This is no. Tyler Cook retains the title, Chris. Why is he holding his? We saw his Showtime's the one that did the move. Yeah, but Tyler Cook, we saw it. He had the leg hooks as well. His shoulders were down, Dave. Look, the referee has the belt. He's going to hand it to Tyler. <laughs> oh, he's pulling down the hand. One referee yes! says SBC won the list. Showtime! But no, the other referee thinks Tyler Cook's still the champion. Look, he's the second ref. He doesn't count. Sure he counts. He became the active ref when the other one got knocked out. The first ref came back, though, so that overrides everything that happened before. I've this always loved referee Pumpkin, Chris, and I'm sure he's right in this case. Tyler Cook is still the champ. He just called referee Pumpkin a long-haired weirdo. No, 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 never. Yes, you did. Referee Mike is the one that had, he was the one that had it in the first place, and he's the one trying to give it to Showtime. These two referees cannot agree who's the champion. Who is the NWA Kansas champion? One referee says Tyler Cook, the other says SPC. I, I, I'm in complete confusion here. I don't understand who the champion is. I'd say if you don't know, Tyler Cook's got to keep it, right? This isn't this isn't a tie goes to the runner, Dave. Okay. What is Gerth? Maybe Gerth can settle oh, this. Oh, I wonder what he'll say, Chris. Maybe he can settle this. Here we go. Yes, Showtime is the champion. No, the referee that was current in the ring says Tyler Cook is still the champ. I don't know how you can argue that point. This is horrible. Either way, it's. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Yes, Gerthy took it. What? Yes. Look at that pig right backstage with a bell, Chris. That means Showtime's the champion, right? No, it does not mean any sort of thing. I don't understand what's going on here. 